In this presentation, we are asked, we're going to look at logic networks. Now, this is a logic network question from 2001. Draw a logic network that accepts independent inputs P and Q and gives as output P or Q. Sorry, P, not P. Let me start again. Not P and P or Q. So, let's just get our notation right. P or Q. Whereas that means not P. And this means and. So not P. Now again, that's an important, just get those right, those uh, symbols right in the first instance. Label your diagram to show the symbolic in input uh, after, output after each gate. So that's an important step. That, like, so don't forget to actually put, uh, well, uh, uh, properly label your Diagram. So in the first instance, what we're going to do is to start off with our channel from P. So this is our input, P. And what we're going to do here is add a... That's not a very straight line. This is going to... We're going to have it add a, add a going to a NOT gate. So we're going to look at this part here first. And that's the NOT gate. There. And the output coming out of that is not P. So hang on, we'll just start this again. Let's label everything. So P goes in there, and at this stage, it becomes not P. Now, so that's that part. Now, we it also, uh, we have an input Q. Let's, so have, let's have Q come from here. And it's going to go into an OR gate. Okay. Now the other input, so that's the input Q. The other input is P. So this is the channel coming. Uh, this is the input from P. So we can actually draw a line from here, and it goes in down there. So out of this comes P or Q. Okay. Now. And uh, let's just uh, put in a few little remarks there. That's P going in there. That's P going in there. That's Q going in there, and so on. Now, so we have we're going to ha we have two components. We have the not P component, and we have the P or Q component, and they're going to meet each other in an AND gate. So let's draw in our AND gate now. And the AND gate it looks like this, it's sort of D-shaped. And the output of the AND gate is not P and P or Q. Okay. Um, and those are the inputs there again. I mean, uh, it's not absolutely necessary to put every little detail on, on, the, on your logic network. But again, it does actually say label your diagram to show the uh, symbolic output after each gate. So it's a well-labeled diagram, it would help here. Actually, what also would help here is, I'm gonna do this here, I'm just gonna write in the names of the gates beside them, uh, even on them, actually. Just to make it um, absolutely clear. Now, make a, a table to show the truth uh, values of the output from the network correspond to each combination of the of the truth values of P and Q. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up here again in the next slide and what we're asked to do is come up with a set of truth tables for this statement here. So that is not P and P or Q. Okay, so this is a, coming up with a set of truth tables here. So first off, I'm going to start here by uh, writing in P and Q. Let's try and get straight lines going there. There we go. And what we're going to do there is fill in those. So 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. One. You know that I st started from the right hand side and then moved leftwards. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'll do this next one in black. This is not P. 
and that is one one zero zero. The next one I'm going to do is P and Q, P R Q, and that is just that's the sort of uh, using a basic definition. So where do we have P or Q? And they would have the truth table for that is zero, one, one, one. Essentially, is there at least one zero in the two component parts? Or sorry, if, if there's at least one um, one in the two component parts of an or gate or an or um, comp a statement, then we have a one. So that that's just a basic definition. It's probably these are the type of things that you should know off by heart. Uh, and an R are the things you probably should know off by heart. So the next we're going to put them together. So not P and P or Q. So where, uh, an R gate is uh, at least uh, one true state, at least one one. Uh, for an AND gate, they both have to be one. Okay, so in that case, this is one, but this is zero, so that's a zero there. This one here is one, and this one here is one, so that's a one. Zero and one, that's a zero. Zero and one, that is a zero. So that there is the truth gate, uh, the truth table we are asked to construct for this question, this one here. So that ends the presentation for this part.